Without their help, we wouldn't have been able to do this. The Warren Family Mission thanks the community for stepping up for their holiday gift drive. Thousands of kids in Trumbull County will have something to open on Christmas morning, putting a big smile on their faces as well as their parents' faces. But just a few days ago, it looked like so many kids would not have a Merry Christmas. But thanks to the generosity of the Valley, things took a major turn in the right direction. 27 First News reporter James Santelli tells us how those donations helped save the holiday. Earlier this week, it didn't look like the Warren family mission would be able to provide a very Merry Christmas for families in need. Four days ago, we had hardly nothing. That is until all of you saw our newscast Wednesday night. Well, the Warren Family Mission is making a desperate plea for help tonight. Those tables that we see in just a moment should be filled with Christmas presents. But unless generous people come forward, the mission could be in danger of breaking Christmas promise. Channel 2733 came in and did a, a spill for us, and the doors started to become a revolving door. And today you could see the results. Tables overflowing with presents, bags stacked up 10 feet high, all donated by people who felt the holiday spirit. We're just blessed because they came together and helped the people that need help. And all afternoon long, the Warren Family Mission was as busy as any department store. 1,000 people coming through, helping 3,000 kids make sure they get toys for Christmas. A lot of people say that, you know, there, there's a lot of negative things that happen here in Warren, but when you put that need out there and you let people know, hey, these are, we're just trying to help the community, We've received, and I know the mission has received, an overwhelming response. Star Wars, Barbie, Frozen, parrots could have their pick. Even Toys for Tots stepped up to give to the mission for the first time. I feel God answered our prayers, and we can't thank Channel 27 and 33 enough for helping us do that. In Warren, James Santelli, WKBN 27 First News.